Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is the floating plate experiment. Atmospheric pressure at work. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a plate, matches, tissue, glasses, and some water. To set up this experiment, take some regular uh, tissue. I take three pieces of tissue and stack them right on top of each other just like this. And uh, there's two. And then we're going to, when we get the third one there, we're going to fold that up into uh, a square. So just go ahead and fold it in half and then fold it over one more time. Um, and uh, that's where we're going to want to be like that. But I'm going to fold it over one more time just to get it wet. Soak it in the water so all the tissue gets wet. Then kind of just lightly squeeze it out so you get excess water out so it's just damp. And then you're going to unfold it one more time back out so it's that square again where it's a rectangle right now. Pull it out to a square and put it on a plate and pat it down so it stays right on the plate right there. Here you're going to need adult supervision as we need five wooden matches. Uh, we're going to place four of them down uh, towards the center of the tissue, laying them exa exactly on top of each other just like this. And uh, you're going to want to pre-make sure you have a glass that's already can fit over the end of all the wood so when we place it on very quickly. I've already done that. The glass is on the left. Then you're going to take your fifth match, put it down on top of it, uh, let it light. Just go ahead and put the match down, um, right, so it's on top. Wait till it ignites, and then put the glass over it immediately like that. And boom, it's done. That's what you need to do. And here we go. We go ahead and grab the glass and pick it up. And you got your floating plate and glass right there. Nothing underneath it. You turn it sideways. It's got a completely air pressure. And so what happened here is when we lit the match and we put the glass over it very quickly, the match burned all the oxygen inside, lowering the pressure on the inside. Therefore, the air pressure pull, pulling it down and creating a section uh, holding the plate down. But now we're going to see how strong the section can be uh, in this glass. So we're going to give it a test and we're going to try uh, pouring a couple glasses of water and see if it could pick it up. See here, uh, there's a little bit of liquid from the tissue that pulled up as it got sucked in with a low pressure. I'm going to fill up a couple glasses of water. They're about 8 ounces, uh, and so it could be any size, uh, but we're going to try to even these out so we have equal weight. Uh, so I'll fill both these up so they're just about right. That's a little bit off, but it's good enough. Put them on each side, and now the test to see how strong uh, the lower air pressure in the middle and the, the vacuum is by picking it up. And so we got about 16 ounces of, of water with the glasses, and it goes up. It's pretty strong. So we're set. So that was a good test for about 16 ounces. So we decided to go, you know, a little bit bigger here in our test. So these bottles are 16.9 ounces. So five of those will make approximately about 84 ounces of in weight. And we're going to see if we can pick those up without the section breaking and the plate breaking and me getting in trouble. So a little drum roll. And it did it, 84 ounces. So I'm not going to push my luck and try anymore. And that's pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to share and like. And thanks for watching. Hello? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, you're asking about Kids Fun Tech? Yeah, we have videos right there and right there and right there and right there. And I'm pointing at the videos. Ugh. Well, we have like those videos over here and those videos over here. Okay, fine, hang up.